Radioactivity and radioactive materials have many peacetime uses. But we know too that they can be used harmfully as in atomic bombs. The chance of your being hurt by an atomic bomb is slight, but since there is a chance, you must know how to protect yourself. Besides blast, there's radioactivity and heat. Can we protect ourselves from these? These children are protected. Concrete walls help stop radioactivity. Any wall stops the heat. The heat scorches the house, but does not harm the children. We have the national defenses to intercept an enemy, and we all form a team to help each other through emergencies. You are on that team. In fact, every community employee is ready to help you if you need him. This is a national emergency. A nuclear missile is inbound to the United States of America. It will make contact in approximately 60 seconds. Day one at the bunker. Seems like this place came to use after all. We have five bottles of water, five cans of food, one bottle of medicine, a pack of bicycle playing cards, a set of dominoes. We have a radio, but doesn't seem to have a working signal. And then a couple candles for who knows what. Needless to say, we have everything we need. We shouldn't be here too long, right? We're doing well down here. High hopes for the future. But we have already used one bottle of water, which is not so great. Keeping ourselves occupied, we played a game of dominoes, also ate a can, we're showing a few signs of impatience, but we're doing all right. We'll be fine. Drink another bottle today. It's funny, you don't realize how much water you need until it's limited. Other than that, nothing interesting has happened lately. That's until I heard a knock at the door. Hello? Hello? Should I go up there? Hold on. I'll go. I got it. I got it. Hello? Who's there? Hey man, um, this is this is Jim. Um, it's it's pretty rough out here. It seems like you got a nice uh, bunker down there. Uh, would you would you mind letting me in? I don't know, man. We're pretty full down here. We don't got much, you know. Oh man, 
uh, place. It's a nuclear wasteland out here. I could really, really use your help. Uh, let me crash just for a little bit and then I'll be on my way, please. All right, fine. Guys, this is our neighbor, Jim. Just do what he says. All right, Jim. What do you want? An, uh, the wife, man. I just need some medicine. Give me some medicine. Calm down, man. It's right there. Take it. It's yours. We've all been shaken up after the incident, but I don't think we'll need a medicine anyways. We've been playing a little bit of cards to ease the tension. Seems to be working. She got sick. Seems like we needed that medicine after all. My little man stepped up today. He said he was going to go out there and look for medicine for his mama and other supplies we need. They grow up so fast. What, what, what happened? The power went out. Where's the matches that we had down here? All right, give it, it to me. Give it to me. All right. Ooh, nice. Oh, it's going to suck keeping lining up matches. The candles. The candles. Hand me the candles. That'll have to do for now. Never thought it would come to this. But we're losing hope, losing time, losing sense of reality. I don't know how much longer we can make it. This is all we have left. We need a miracle. He's back. <laughs> he's back. <sighs> Guys, he's back. Then things start to look up. We had light. We had medicine. 
And best of all, we had each other. Way. It's on the way! Oh, I'm so happy. We made it. We survived. At least. That's what I imagined. In your darkest times, you can envision, you can feel it, your own salvation.